Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Sugar Beauty. So for today's video, I actually have a review for you guys. So I'm going to be reviewing the Beauty Bites from Sephora. And it comes with four different colors. So in this video, I'm going to be swatching and telling you guys how I feel about the product, if I like it or not, and just give you guys an overall review about the product. I actually got this for my birthday. So I'm not sure about the price or anything, but I did do my research and got all the facts about this product. So if you guys want to see a review on this, just keep watching. This is what the Bite Beauties come in. It's just this small tin container. It has the B in the front. This is actually the sample kit. This is one of the gift kits. So this is not the full size. It comes in this small container, gray and red. Personally, I don't really like the packaging. I find it's really boring. It doesn't look like it's a makeup product, but it works, I guess. Not my favorite packaging. It's really simple. It's sleek. It's not pretty. Not the prettiest packaging I've ever seen. Then when you open it, you have all four of the beauty bites. Then it comes with this tiny mirror too. It's really... Hi! It's a really good size mirror, but I don't think I'm ever going to use it because I don't think I'm going to travel with all four colors or put this in my purse or anything. If I do, if I do travel with it, I'm probably going to bring one of the colors that I'm currently wearing and just bring that one. But overall, bleh. I'd rate it four out of ten for packaging wise. So now I'm going to go through every single colors individually. The first color they have. Actually, I threw out the. This was packed in another packaging, and I threw that out. I didn't know. I don't know if the color names were on that packaging because, as you can see, this one has nothing on it except for that B. So I'm just gonna go with my common sense and just describe. Try my best to describe the color to you guys. So the first one. Oh, actually, it has the color on here. What a coinkidink! So this one. This is the first color. It's basically a light nude, a very, very light nude. It's called Madeira, and it's this really light, nudey pink color. I'm going to swatch it right here. I don't think I'm ever going to wear this color because I don't think it's going to suit my skin tone. It's probably going to suit someone that's very, very fair. It has a really creamy consistency and it's very very opaque and pigmented. Like one application of this product and you're good to go. And it's extremely smooth but it's definitely not a stain. You do have to reapply it during the day and it's very very, what do you say, like transfer, transferable. Like if I, like if I kiss myself right now. This is how much of the product it's going to transfer. I'm wearing the red one right now. So, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it so far. I really like the colors. I really like how pigmented it is. But the consistency and the texture is in my favorite. So that's this one, Madeira. The next one I have is this brown plum nudie color. I wear this one on an everyday basis because it matches my lips perfectly. And it's one of those colors that it's like your lips but better for me, of course. As you can see, I've used this one a lot. It does come with a decent amount of product, but it does run out very, very quickly. So this one is, as you can see, it's very, very pigmented. It's this really nice plum nudie color, perfect for the fall time. They all have the same consistency. It's this cream shiny uh, result so yeah that's that one next one is the oh that one was called rhubarb this one is quince and it's this really nice magenta pink color a bit bold for the fall time but it's going to be perfect for the warmer weather like I love the color payoff on these products but if they were like more of a stain or they didn't transfer as much, I'd love them even more. But I really, really love the colors. 
This one is the magenta one. And the last one is the one I actually have on my lips right now. This one is called Cranberry. Cranberry and Quince are very, very similar in color. But as you can see, this one's more pink. This one's more of a cherry red. I'm going to swatch it right beside it. I don't know if the camera's straining it off, but this is what it looks like. This one's more pink. This one's more of a cherry red. I absolutely love the colors. I can't rave more about the colors. But like, as you can see, this one, it's been a while it's on my hand. Even if I swatch it or rub it off, it rubs up very, very easily. And I don't really like that factor. It's very, very creamy. It really feels really nice on your lips. And it's super duper moisturizing. But look, it's going to stain like crazy. And it transfers everywhere. Even when I'm applying it on my lips, look, it's all over the container and everything and it's not, I really don't like the packaging of this either. I don't like the material on this, this matte, it has this matte texture, then it has the bite written here, their logo, and it transfers like crazy, like, I have to go take a shower after this. It's ridiculous. So overall, I do enjoy the Beauty Bites. They're not my favorite lip products. There could be a lot of improvement that could be made. Example, the packaging could be a lot cuter, but that's just a personal opinion. Also, the texture and the longevity of the product, it's not that great. If you do eat a lot, like I do, they're not going to stay as long on your lips. Also, they transfer like crazy. But the texture of it, the consistency, and it feels really nice on your lips. The color payoff is absolutely amazing. And the color options is also really, really nice. Like these three, I wear them very, very often. But that pale one, it's not for me. But that's only one of the four colors. I'm going to use it to highlight my face maybe. Because it does feel like a cream eyeshadow almost. So it's going to be perfect for under the brow or even on your cheeks. So I might use that for that. But overall, I'm going to rate the Bite Beauties a 7 out of 10. 70% so that's pretty good I guess a B minus yeah a B minus for the beauty bites so that was my review on the beauty bite lipsticks or jumbo pencil not sure what they're called um I really hope you guys like this video and if you guys want me to do more reviews please thumbs up also subscribe to my channel for more beauty and fashion videos also you can leave in the comments below if you guys have any video suggestions I'll definitely check them out and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!